Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vishal. In this video, let's have a look on the extrude option of the polygon actions in Z Modeler of ZBrush. So before getting into the video, I just wanted to know who is your favorite superhero from Avengers franchise. So let me know in the comment section. So before getting into the video, I just wanted to give a brief introduction of the extrude. Extrude is a very popular tool across all the 3D modeling software. It's a very uh, important tool when it comes to 3D modeling. Uh, so uh, in ZBrush, we have all the modeling tools in Z Modeler. So I'm going to access my Z Modeler from the brush palette or I can hit B, Z and M on the keyboard to get the Z Modeler. I'll hover the cursor on the polygon and hit spacebar or right click to get the menu and choose your tool which is extrude in this case. Uh, like any other tool, we have the targets which are very common. So the main important thing is we have the modifier. So let's select the default one which is one side poly. So I'm going to select that uh, polygon and then drag it and you should be able to see you got nice uh, extrusion from there. You can select any polygon and keep extruding those faces continuously. So if I just go to the dynamic subdivision and then you should be able to see um, the extrusions are not really blending unlike uh, the QMesh uh, software, uh, you know, QMesh tool. So extrude is uh, different in this particular uh, area uh, in comparison with the QMesh. So we have uh, uh, the one side poly, if not, uh, we can choose our uh, targets here. Like I could choose poly loop flat and then extrude those poly loops here. And uh, I can keep on extruding that way. Not only that, I can change my poly group uh, island and then extrude those faces like that. So it's a continuous uh, a process uh, with different uh, sort of targets here. So I'll come back to my single poly and then choose uh, no sides poly. So when I click and drag, you are only getting the uh, polygon face from there. It's like a, making a copy from there. Uh, if not, uh, if I'm not using one side or uh, no side poly, if I'm just clicking and dragging, if I hold shift, it, it just, um, you know, moves that face. If I hold control, it moves with no polys. If I hold alt, it keeps on cycling the poly group as we keep um, pressing the alt key there. So that is one thing you should generally check on. We have step by brush. When I just click and drag, you could able to see the, the extrusion is snapping at a particular distance and I'm keeping on extruding further like that. So the extrusion steps are defined by the brush size. So I can reduce the brush size. I can use this draw size option here or I can press S on the keyboard and then reduce the size or increase the size and then click and drag and you can see the steps at which the extrusion is happening is reduced in comparison to my previous brush size. So that is uh, what the step size is for and step size with value, which is right now 0.3 should be able to see that's in giving an increment of 0.3. Now, If I generally set that value to 0.05 and then click and drag, then you should be able to see the reduced size of the step size in the extrusion. So this is what we have in the extrude tool. If you got any questions related to this tool, please let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, uh, hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more such videos. Thank you very much.